Hello, I'm Dr. Sean Reed. I'm an associate professor in the Department of Family Medicine at the University of Virginia School of Medicine. It's also my privilege to be the director of our MiniMed School program. If you're not familiar with MiniMed, it's a free program. It's open to the public. Every fall, it runs usually between September and October, and it's a chance for members of our community to join with us to be taught by the exact same faculty who teach our students during the day. In fact, our students volunteer to participate and they help facilitate some of our small group teaching sessions. They come in during the evening hours. We usually get about 50 to 60 of them, which is absolutely amazing. And it's a great time to learn, interact with them about kind of what their lives are like as students here at UVA. It's a pretty dynamic classroom. Our participants range in age from high school students all the way through retirees. In fact, our team always jokes that we don't think any two people are here for the same reason, which is fine. We do have some goals that we hope our graduates will uh, achieve by the time they leave. One of those goals that's near and dear to my heart as a family physician is the idea of raising one's health literacy, to really raise the health literacy of our community one human being at a time. And we do that a number of different ways. We start with teaching some of the basic skills like how to obtain an accurate blood pressure reading at home or how to use a defibrillator in an emergency situation. But we also explore some of the complex communication that exists between providers and their patients. And again, we do this with the idea that we want our graduates to be empowered to be the best advocates for their own health. During the program, we spend an entire night looking at the power of clinical research, uh, not just here at UVA, but across the globe, and how it helps to expand the therapeutics that are available at the bedside. It's also a lot of fun to model some of the state-of-the-art teaching methodologies that we're using here at the School of Medicine to help teach the next generation of physicians. And as we go through the program, we're modeling and exposing our participants to some of the many rewarding opportunities for careers in the health professions. Generally, we hold our programs here in these rooms, but as you can see, they're empty. And that's as a result of the decision a couple months back to transition our curriculum to an online or virtual format. I can assure you though, I hear from my students regularly that they're working at home uh, very diligently toward their career aspirations. It's in the spirit of this online learning that we decided as a team to produce this mini med school special podcast on COVID-19. And so our program will consist of a number of different segments that will examine the COVID pandemic. We're really excited to be able to bring you this information and we hope that you'll find it really helpful. The segments will include discussion on the virus itself and how it impacts our health. It'll also include an update on the impact on the School of Medicine and our curriculum, as well as the clinical services here at UVA Health. We've also used it as an opportunity to highlight some of the incredible stories of our School of Medicine faculty and the UVA health employees in terms of their individual contributions to the pandemic. Each segment will be hosted by a student. They volunteer to bring this information from all hallways to your living room, so we thank them for that. And I also want to take the opportunity to thank our faculty and the many others who helped us to produce this podcast. In the coming weeks, we hope to host a meeting that's online that allows folks to tune in live to ask questions. So if you're interested in that type of activity, please keep an eye on our website for more information. As I said, it's been a lot of fun putting this together. We hope that you enjoy it. We appreciate you listening and please do your best to stay safe during these incredibly challenging times in our community.